Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow just is up 44. We get the Nasdaq down 6. S&P's up 2.5. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Jack Gleason, as we do each and every Thursday at 40 past the hour. You can uh, check out Jack every trading day at MajorLeagueTrading.com. Uh, bottom line, great website. Uh, each and every time you pick it up, Jack will be in a different place around the world, <laughs> growling and prowling out here like the tiger he is. Yeah. Jack Gleason, what's going on, brother? Hey, howdy there, partner. What's huh? going on down in sunny Florida? Oh, We're just uh, the heat is on, baby. <laughs> we, the, we got it the got heat. up to 81 here yesterday. I was a little, I was pretty happy about that. I bet you were happy about it. 81 in Chicago. That's a beautiful thing, man. <laughs> that, that is a beautiful thing. Oh man, what a move we've had here, guys. A um, couple of things I want to point out. Some of the major levels we came into because it's looking like it might be more of a serious bottom. You know me and my halfway packs. Uh, so NASDAQ, if you guys go to that chart, the halfway back for the year is right about what we held. Um, and, uh, you know, that's from the low, which was, I think it was the 7th. The low of the year was the, it looks like, this, yeah, the 7th of January to that high. Uh, that level was 7,004, which is right about the daily close on the 4th of June and then right where we opened the other day when that rally began. So... Larger picture profit targets, um, you know, if this ends up being a low and we go up towards those all-time highs, uh, the negative 23% projection there is going to be 82.82. So I'm, gonna, I'm looking to continue to trade from the long side here in the uh, indexes. A little choppy this morning. Um, if we do get a pullback today in the S&P 500, 28.13 is my first major support, and then 28.06 below. But I also think oil's possibly made a bottom here. Have you guys uh, been paying close attention to that Widowmaker? I mean, that thing's a new <laughs> net gas. Uh, yeah, my take, Jack, is that we're going to 44 in oil. But I'm going I'm I'm to send, send you some salmon. I'm going to get some <laughs> salmon in the mail today. They get to <laughs> They got salmon down in Tampa Bay. Well, we got it up in Alaska. We're gonna send. We're gonna send it from a couple of our tigers up in Alaska. So we'll turn you into a bear. <laughs> there we go. Ah, okay. I, I was lost, man. You gotta bring us with you. <laughs> turn, turn you into a bear. Yeah, totally. totally. You, need a little, um, you, need a little, you need a little change of pace, man. There you go. I, I'd like to. If we are gonna go lower, I really like. I'd like to see us get at back up to the uh, fifty-three sixty-six level in oil, um, and then kind of fail from there so ideally i think you know we can go lower there's no doubt about that but just the way we kind of hammered off that 50 60 zone yesterday i think we got to trade back to the top of the range we broke down and out of and that's for me that's around 5360 so 5360 and 5462 but hey you nice. know I'm, I'm a day trader i'm changing my opinion every every 15 oh, no, no. listen man it's, we love it it's awesome man there's no doubt there's no doubt about that dude you know it's uh, intriguing when you get a chance if you take up that oil chart and then take out the S&P with it, look at it the last three years, because it seems like oil is about a week ahead of the S&P, and it's been trading with it for quite some time, which is, you know, it, all these things work, and then they don't work, folks, okay? But that's, you know, that's a heads up, man. Um, it really is. So it's, and That's trading. you got to be, I mean, the market's constantly changing. If you're not changing with it, you're going to get left in the dust, guys. You know, it's, you know, the biggest thing about trading to me is always risk management. Um, you know, right. and I think you got to stay in the game long enough for the bigger moves. I mean, that oil, that oil move down, uh, man. Last time we talked, that's when the move really began. As soon as we took out those lows, see, we were trading 58s last Thursday, right? Yeah. Um, and then you had the biggest inventory draw, and I think I read 30 years. Do you guys see that? I did. It's like the, yeah. it was crazy. It, it went back to the 90s, man. Yeah. It was like okay, this that's. I wasn't even born yet. I know, man. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to love it. Man. Totally. Totally. So, oh, hey, yeah. how do you like that moving gold? Oh, yeah, that moving gold is fantastic. I, I, it's, I was it last Thursday. It's funny because last Thursday I was long it going in. I think I was long it when we were talking. Um, I mean, I obviously exited early. And then I've, I've continued to trade it here on the way up. But this could be the breakout that we've all been looking for. Oh, don't get them all excited, Jack. All right. No. Yeah, no, <laughs> you know, it's, it's going to be amazing, folks, watching this, because the, the reality is, is move, that, yeah. you know, it's, it's a good move. There's yeah. no doubt. Um, you know, when you take a look at this chart, guess what? You know, we've been in this area for three years. Yeah. And you're talking about a long period of time. Definitely. 
and we'll either make it or break it. We get up to that 1377, and right now, you know, you're at 1333. I know, um, I was going to say three years, really. I see, like, 2013, man, like six that's years. That's right, six years. Yeah. Six years. Ah, uh, it's amazing. Right. I mean, I remember that move on the, on the way up, oh, and... Yeah how bullish everybody got but really right now if you guys can continue to watch if we can stay above this 1329 level here in gold um which would be a pullback below today's low uh that to me 1329 is a really significant fibonacci zone okay. that, that would continue this very aggressive bid uh that we've had since last week it's a, it's this marks a week right it started last thursday right yeah. so um, I mean, and what what a move it's been. So we went from what 1280s all the way up to so you know over 50 points to the high, and that high of the year came into it yesterday. That 1349. I mean, if we start clearing that, then it's you know th those previous highs of the year are going to be the resistances above. But to me, it's the the speed of the move here, and then also you kind of have really a truly fundamental argument uh, that could push it higher with the Fed basically continuing to say we will print money yeah. as fast as you want now i need to know one of those guys because i love a money press <laughs> that's so true man that's so true and you know the bond and all you have to do folks is is, is look at the bond market you know the bond market basically is, is pushing the fed the bond market is saying hey rates are going lower every single day you know and that's a big move um so we'll see how the rest of it shakes shakes out uh dollar dollar you know we'll see where the dollar basically fails this is the third Fourth day in a row now we get uh, lower prices in the dollar with volume. So, um, so there's some good moving parts out here. No doubt. I haven't looked at the. I haven't. You know, I haven't really been paying much attention to the dollar. I know it's so correlated with gold, but I, I just, I, I trade. I trade what I look at. If I don't look at it, I don't typically. That's don't right. Typically no, no, trade. That's, that's where but, it's at. Uh, that's where it's at. Listen, yeah. folks, you can, you can check Jack out every trading day at MajorLeagueTrading.com. So, hey, uh, so how long are you going to be in Chicago and where are you going next? Uh, I'm going to Punta Cana next week. So there we I, go. Oh, see that? Yeah. <laughs> so I, I might have to, I, you know what I'll do is I'll pick up from my phone again. and uh, That'd be awesome. Face. Is there. We've been to Punta Cana. Beautiful, man. Yeah. Enjoy it. Yeah. My sister's actually getting married, so this is, you ah, know, it's perfect. perfect. That's yeah. good. <laughs> Right? They yeah. got the all-inclusive resort. It's a great place for weddings. And you know, and yeah, with, exactly. With, yeah. You know, it's, it was really cool too, uh, folks. Is that like we? I've gone there a couple times, and I've gone there in the summer, and I thought it was going to be hotter than Florida, and it's actually cooler than Florida, which is wow. a mind blower. What is hotter than Florida? Well, where where know, are you about? I mean, I, where are we, we going, we're man? Going, we're going further south. Ninety-eight degrees and humid in yeah, Florida. Yeah, <laughs> no, I, I know, I get. You know? I, I and it's beautiful. How do, you, how, do you, how do you guys keep your hair looking so good when with the with the weather down there? Technology, Jack. That Nasdaq 100 <laughs> technology. No. That's what I'm talking about. Beautiful air conditioning. <laughs> Thank it's God, the, man. It's the Einstein. Oh, look, that man. AC, the it's AC repair man. Man, they, they like never get uh yeah look like genius <laughs> uh, jack you have a great one safe one always a pleasure man have a, a great week we look forward to speaking to you next week man hey take care guys have a good one thanks jack take care man remember folks you can uh, check out jack every trading day majorleaguetrading.com dow industrial is up 69 nasdaq flat s&p's up four and a half tommy and i come right back